as you may have already seen on the internet, the all-new Ford Ranger has officially been launched in other countries. Now, this comes after a global reveal, which gave us a quick look at the styling and possible features set that the pickup truck might have. Now that the model is well out and about, here are a few things to expect from the all-new pickup truck as its official launch in the Philippines slowly inches closer. So, what you get with all new Ranger is a more corporate look, as it and its SUV counterpart, the Everest, now share the same design similarities as the bigger brother, the F-150. They get a new, broader front clip, more muscular lines down the side, and a set of new taillights for the Everest. So, the old Ranger comes with a much rounder front and smaller grille. The new one comes with a flatter front and C-clamp LED headlights. It also gets a new bumper and a new set of wheels. On the sides, it gets more creases and cuts over its older version, but still retains a similar shape. At the back, the new model gets a much slimmer looking rear with a new set of taillights and a new tailgate design and a rear bumper as well. In the case of the Everest, it too gets a similar look to the front of the Ranger sharing the same C-clamp LED headlights, but it carries a different design for its front bumper. Moving on to the sides, it gets a few callbacks to its older version, with fall vents found on the front quarter panel and smooth lines down the side. Now, notably, the D-pillar has been changed to be a little more angular over its predecessor, which gives it a more aggressive stance. At the rear, you also get a new set of LED taillights that are much flatter and come with a unique design. Now, for the Philippine market, the Ford Everest will still be available with its current lineup of engines minus the 2.2-liter turbo diesel. This means that the 2-liter single bi-turbo motors will still be available for the SUV. The automaker has yet to disclose if there will be any increase in power, but we assume it'll make similar figures to what is currently available. This means 168 horses and 405 newton meters of torque for the single turbo, with the bi-turbo option delivering 207 horses and 5 500 newton meters of torque. Now, while the engine specifications for the new Ford Ranger are still unknown, it is likely that it will also be available with the two-liter single and bi-turbo motors. Now, when it comes to the wheels and brakes, specifications, unfortunately, are still unknown for the Philippine market. However, we can tell you, based on what Ford has told us, that in stopping power, it has been improved and that the tire choices for both the Ranger and the Everest have carefully been considered to give customers the best handling possible. The 2023 Ford Ranger rides on a modification platform from the previous generation. It's about two inches wider and longer, plus it's better balanced. And at the rear, dampers were mounted on board the frame. This should provide a much smoother ride. It also improves the approach angle, off-road articulation, and cooling. It also has a similar case for the Ford Everest, as modifications have been made to the chassis to also give it a much smoother ride on the road and improvements of the off-road capabilities. The Everest has a reputation for having the best interior. The material seemed a little dated and cheap. However, the Ford seats are noted for being large and well padded. Now, the cheap plastics have been replaced with much better materials. We have yet to confirm this as we haven't gotten our hands on the new model just yet. You'll notice though that the 2023 Ford Ranger incorporates a more upscale feeling. While you can still see some plastics, the layout includes more soft touch materials and leather wrapped surfaces. It looks more comfortable, yet durable and easy to clean. I like that. Storage used to be an issue, but the 2023 model provides various storage solutions. There is a hidden glove box, large door pocket cubbies, and storage located under the rear seat. Tech in the old Ford Ranger was adequate. I mean, the base model had four speakers, AM, FM radio, but you could upgrade to an eight inch touchscreen. The controls were basically grouped closely together and were, well, sadly, a bit too small. Now, the 2023 Ford Ranger includes a standard 10.1 inch infotainment display across the entire lineup. You can even upgrade to the massive vertical oriented 12.1 inch screen. The Ford Sync 4 software provides access to multiple controls, including the new zone lighting feature to light up the job site. Well, well, we don't know if these will be available in the Philippines, but they are still features we want to see. We are still waiting to learn more about the Ranger that's in Thailand, but it's good to expect stuff like wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, built-in navigation, perhaps even Sirius XM satellite radio, and a Bang & Olufsen stereo system. 
Now, the big question. In terms of pricing for the Everest, Ford Philippines is keeping mum on the matter for, for now. But based on Thailand pricing, the 2023 Ford Everest Sport starts at 1,464,000 baht or around 2.267 million Philippine pesos. The range topping Everest, 1.8 million baht or so, which is about 2.867 million Philippine pesos. For the Ford Ranger, we expect it to be within the same price range as it is now, albeit with a slight increase to account for the new tech that it has. Mind you though, these are all just ballpark figures based on conversion rates. So, what does it mean for the remaining stock of the older models? Well, it could point to great deals and promos for these vehicles, which you can view on our website. In fact, if you go to autodeal.com.ph right now, you could save as much as 145,000 Philippine pesos on a current Ford Ranger. I don't care who you are, that's a lot of scratch, man. Thanks for watching, everyone. Stay safe. We'll see you soon.